So you can see why I'm a little mad right now. This whole weekend, it is pouring. So I can't even see the deers outside. Let alone, uh, I was gonna go to the rabbit island, but I don't think it's worth it, unless you have one free day in your schedule, because it is very hard to get to, and it takes really long. It's about 9.30 and I arrived in uh, Osaka. Now I have to try to find my hotel. So after walking in the rain, being drenched because someone stole my umbrella, I finally found the station to get to the Osaka Aquarium. But it's a hassle because I have to buy a ticket. My JR Pass doesn't cover it. So I had to ask everyone for help. And here is two the cubes where I capsule where I am sleeping. Get the stairs to go up. So I just got the ticket. All I had to say was uh, Kayu Kipu. And then I got this. And now I just have to find the train to take and then transfer to get to the subway. Finally reached the aquarium station. But I didn't want to carry all my stuff around, so they have these lockers at the station and you just have to pay it and it's good for the whole day. Where am I going right now? Uh, I should probably ask for directions somewhere. Uh, 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 Kayo Kun, Kayo Kun. Ah, that's Near the aquarium, there's a Ferris wheel right behind me if you see it. So you just have to look for that for the aquarium and you can't miss it. After dropping off all my luggage at the first capsule hotel that I'm staying at, it took me about an hour, hour and a half to figure everything out and get to Osaka Aquarium. So not that bad. It's still 11, so I still have time to see all the other things. And uh, that ticket pass I bought for the Osaka Aquarium, I could actually use it to take that line that JR Pass doesn't uh, cover to go to the other places, like Umeda Sky Building that I'm going to go to soon. Oh my god, it's so crowded in here. Don't go here on a weekend, because everyone got the same idea when it was raining outside. This seal is purposely smiling at us. So this part in the aquarium, they let you touch the fish. There's even stingrays here, but you gotta get close to them. Oh, there's one. Just finished the aquarium and once I got out, it's about 1 o'clock. Also, the sun just came out, so that's good. So I'm going to walk the streets of Osaka. So I just walked into Tempozan Gallery, which is right next to the aquarium. 
and there's a lot of things to buy, shop, and eat. Ooh, going into the playpen. Oh, oh this one's huge. Hi. Okay. So, you gotta take a chopstick and you have to stick. Alright, I'm going to choose to feed one of them. It's so hard maneuvering. Oh. Oh. There's also different kind of rabbits here. This one, and they have their own water. I don't think that's a rabbit, but that's their own hamster. I think it's a chopstick. There's a lot more hiding in the corner. Hey, where are you guys going? Success. This is a And little pigs to pet too. Oh my god, I hit the jackpot. Before they were small domestic animals, but now here are the big guns. Oh. Is that a deer? There's a big ass llama right behind me. Okay, so I just got to the top floor of the Umeda Sky Building and it's really windy right now. They closed it off before, but I guess now they started letting people in because the weather got better. And it's a really nice view of all of Osaka. 360 degree view. It's actually best to plan to go to Meta Sky Building around uh, probably an hour before sunset. So you can actually see uh, what the area looks like, Osaka, in the morning, in the day, and what it looks like at nighttime. So I'm out here late at night in Osaka uh, at Danton Bori to get something to eat and to look at all these lights. Oh, I don't know if you can really see them, but yeah. <laughs> 